because it's the weekend and I've had a nice little lay in and I'm very happy. Um, I'm just feeding the horses at the moment. This is probably going to be quite a chilled vlog. I might do it over the whole weekend. I feel like I've got a lot of tidying up to do, a lot of prepping for next week. And I just thought I'd bring you guys along. So I've spoken before about the fact that Coop wastes so much haylage. And as you can see, this is his turn out pen. And he drags it. He sort of drops it on the floor and drags it all out. And it is so frustrating. And not only because it makes a huge mess, but also because it's such a waste of money. When haylage is so expensive, it's such a waste of money. Um, he's very fussy about where he eats it. So he likes it in the wheelbarrow, but he also likes chucks it out of the wheelbarrow so this week i brought him a hay bag he's not loving it sadly he will eat out of it but it's not it, it's not winning him over by any stretch of the imagination which is really frustrating it's the same with this like feed bin that he's got he'll eat a bit out of it and then he just chucks the rest on the floor which is just quite frustrating um we've gone for a more naked pony look here he um Bless him, his coat. It's not very good light in here, is it? It's a bit dark. Summer coat come through. He gets very itchy. His skin goes so thin as well. Like, it becomes so thin, so he gets rubs really easily. Obviously, where he's naturally chewing and biting at his coat, he kind of makes a lot more marks. Um, and this year, which he's never had before, he has got, like, little neck rubs, which he's never had. That's quite a new thing for him. Excuse the dog. Evie. Um, he's also completely trashed his tail, if I can spin around. Look at that for a mess and a half. Um, again, doesn't normally do his tail in winter. Not That's not normally a thing for him. Um, so anyway, I've taken all necks off. I've changed, I've tried lots of different rugs to see if I can help the neck and it doesn't seem to get any better. It could be from rubbing. He might be rubbing on something in here that's doing, causing the problems. I don't know, but anyway, he's going to be a naked neck pony for a while. Um, to see if we can sort that out before regionals. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to go looking like um, a right scruff bag. It, like a moth-eaten uh, SPCA case. Because, um, yeah, he doesn't look the be most beautiful. Don't get me wrong, this is better than some years. This is like, we don't have actual, like, fleshy wounds. Which is great. You know, he hasn't got actual sores on him. He's just got a lot of rub patches. Um, haven't we? Well, you look old. He is old. Um, bless him. So I'm sort of just praying that he'd like to grow his coat a bit quicker so that he can go looking half okay and not like a like a mess eh loving that but dropping most of it by the looks of it thank god he has that um spillers senior mash stuff because he's been really naughty about drinking water at the moment and um thankfully i can really like pump that in with water so i know he's getting some liquid down because he's naughty he won't drink much um will you Looking a bit rosy cheeked. I'm not actually sure this headband really suits my head. I think the light in it makes it too heavy and then it falls down constantly. Anyway, as you can see, I'm in the truck and I've been trying to be really consistent with loading Sienna a bit more. It's kind of like a new year goal. And last week, I think we got her on twice. I think we even did the week before. Um, I've not managed to fit it in this week, but I think if I can do it at least once a week, then that's good. Um, because last year she was not the easiest to load. But the other day I started afresh and kept it really chilled. I put Coop on first, let her chat to him, took him off. And anyway, we had a real breakthrough with her. She just seemed much happier about going on. I've kept it really steady. So like, first of all, we just loaded her. We haven't put the partition over. We haven't tied her up, anything like that. But we're just really taking our time and trying to get her confident. So um, it's been a week since I've done it. So I'm going to load her today and see how we get on. I've put the truck in a slightly different position this time. So it'll be interesting to see if she... Uh, takes offence to that or something like that. Um, I'll video it and we'll see how we get on. But the last few times she has been so much better, like nearly unrecognisable, very chilled as well. So let's give it a whirl and have a practice and see how we get on. Sorry, I feel like this is going to be a really long video clip with loading her. We've had so much progress when it's come to loading her. I can't actually believe how different she is. I really think her seeing Corporal stood on the truck the other day made her realise that she can fit in there. Because it literally, like, just completely, poor girl has a bit of a slip here going on, which is not ideal. Um, it, it seemed to be an instant, like, light bulb moment in her brain. We're still having issues, as you can see, taking her off. But I can stop her. So she's just a bit keen to get off. 
Um, so I'm trying to make sure I don't let her just run off the back with me, obviously. Um, I have yet to bring the partition back across since last year. So we did that today. So we tied her up, brought the partition back over. And you can see she instantly gets a little bit stressed by this. So she panics a little bit and just it obviously unnerves her. It makes her feel a bit claustrophobic. So I spent some time patting her. I've shortened these clips up. I was obviously in there for a lot longer than what's seen on the screen um, and then took her off again. And again, having to be quite aware that she is probably going to try and pull me off um, to get on. You can see here she's sort of pulling on the lead rope because she's quite keen to get off. Um, so it's all about taking my time, trying to make sure she waits and not let her do that. But what is so interesting is that she keeps going back on. This is something she did not do before. She'd go up once and then you couldn't get her back on again after that. So the fact that she keeps going back up is so good. Like, I can't explain how happy this makes me. Um, and like I said, there's no pulling and tugging and, you know, there's it's feels very calm so even though yes she's getting a little bit um stressed when the partition shut it still feels very calm when it comes to loading her and i'm so pleased to see that she is willing to keep going back up however you could see in that clip there she goes to go but you know what she doesn't and i managed to stop her um, and I really think we'll get on top of this, her wanting to kind of get off really quickly. I think it's just a bit of a learned behaviour where she's felt a bit panicked about it. The strange thing is she's not had any bad journey. She's always travelled really very well. So we're not really sure why she feels so concerned when she's on there, but I just need to practice with her. It's as simple as that. It needs to be a weekly basis to help her gain some confidence. And you can see this time she actually comes off so much better. Um and doesn't kind of try doesn't try to fly me off the back of it look really pleased with that last result it's finally time for me to put my brave pants back on and i won't lie i was quite nervous so sienna hasn't been ridden since the end of october so obviously i have my fall in september i rode her just a handful of times after my fall in october and then I gave her the winter off of ridden work simply because I couldn't have been consistent enough with her and she's a mare that likes consistency. That being said, she was still in work. So she was still going out for hacks on the lead. She was still being lunged, long reined, playing in the schools. She was all doing that. In fact, if anything, she's fitter than, I, <laughs> fitter than I'd really like right now. Um, but it's time. I'm really excited for the summer, but I need to get back on her and start working her again. Um, I'm just lunging her here. She does not like being lunged with the stirrups down she tends to trot a little faster than I like um she just doesn't like it it freaks her out for whatever reason anyway I got back on today tentatively um she's a funny mare like I say like she's so beautiful and so loves work like she thrives off of work but she is sharp and you know there are many a times in the arena when she's been showing me her acrobatic skills and it does make me kind of go gulp and go oh god I've got to ride you again but we got on today um we had a very chilled walk I'm not putting any pressure on either of us we're just gonna just feel our way through the next few weeks I always find ride one when you get going again it's normally all right it's normally ride two or three that's like the death ride um I wasn't sure like how she would feel having my legs back round her and everything like that but she was not bad at all. Uh, I can see from the way she's going, being that she's overbent and everything, that she was quite nervous, bless her. I think she was probably picking up on my nerves as well. Um, she tends to get quite mouthy when she's a bit unsettled. So we just did some very, very slow trots around the arena. You can see here, I was just trying to get her head up because she was getting very overbent and I <laughs> wanted the neck up and in front of me, not kind of round and down in front of me. Um, so we just had some very, very gentle little trots. I can even see from her trot stride just how sort of nervous she was. And then here, I just, I think I rode her for about 10, 15 minutes. I was just trying to get her to hold square, bless her. Uh, but she looks beautiful. She's come out of winter looking really well. Um, just, you know, nicely developed. For a horse that's not being done, doing a huge amount of work, I think she looks lovely. So I'm very excited. I'm still a bit nervous, but I'm very excited. And I think we can have hopefully a very good year this year with her. Um, and hopefully she's grown up a little bit as well. Everyone's tails is a bit disgusting. So I'm having a bit of a tail washing session. Um, I use, you can't see the uh, name of this shampoo, but it's a smart grooming one. Can I turn it on my feet? I really like it. I really like it. I am out on Art, who is acting a little bit like a four-year-old. <laughs> Bless him. He's very wobbly. And he hasn't been out on his own for quite some time. And he's um he's going from side to side along the road. And bless him, you know what it's like when you go on the weekend, out riding on the weekend? You just seem to meet everything and anything. Like, it's worse than a weekday's riding. And yeah, everyone's in the garden. I just had to try and pass on who was trying to trim a tree. And I think they must have had, um, like, 
ear defenders on or something because oh, one-handed riding on arts is never a good idea um because i don't think he could see me or hear me and arts he was having a little like oh my god and um yeah they just like kids are screaming and playing in the garden which of course is gonna happen on the weekend but you know when you're like just all go inside now and let me just have a quiet peaceful ride i had planned on taking coop but uh, our neighbour next door has started chainsawing and I just didn't think it was very fair to leave Sienna on her own um, with that much din going on in the background. Um, I also think it might mean that I can't turn out today, which I'm a bit devastated about um, because between um, having the chainsaw out and trimming trees, they're also attacking the hedge between us and the field, like between them and our field. And I just think it might be a bit too much to ask them to go out in that. So I'm just, you know, when you just get a bit annoyed. <laughs> I just get like grumpy old lady syndrome I'm just like I wish they'd all go away um, and when I win that lottery I have a house where no one's anywhere near me so I can make as much noise as I want and don't have to hear anyone else <laughs> because that's what I want um, anyway it's no harm in Artie having a little hack on his own it's good for him um, and he needed an outing he, he looked a bit like wound up in the stable like he needed to get out and have some fresh air so that is what I'm doing right now um, and then when I get back I might wash his tail I haven't really managed to get much extra done where does time go? Where does time go? Um, it flies by. It flies by, doesn't it? it absolutely flies by. Um, so yeah, get his tail washed and then I might start a bit of tack cleaning. Um, and hope maybe that my next door neighbour fancies going in and watching some TV this afternoon so that I can uh, I can get on and turn them out all out for like half an hour or something. Anyway, we'll see you again. I'll see you fine. Honestly, this is the biggest baby of a horse sometimes. <laughs> I need to go because... He forever wants to walk in the grit, and when you've got no shoes on, it's not a good idea. So we have started, because it is quite dry, started turning them out for around half an hour each day. Because obviously they've been in all winter, I don't like to turn them out for like hours on end anyway straight away. Like it takes some readjustment for their gut and everything. So um, for the last sort of three or four days now, I've been trying to make sure they go out for half an hour at the end of each day so far. Bar Artie, who's done a bit of galloping. Um, Coop's obviously been going out a little bit. You can see him there. Coop's been going out a little bit over the winter anyway, so it's no big deal to him. But Sienna has been really good. And she's been going out there and been quite quiet. The turnout pen actually has turned out even more of a bonus because it means I can turn one out in the field at a time. And they'll always have somebody in the turnout pen to kind of keep them company. So they never feel like they're alone, but they're not winding each other up in the field. So it's actually so far, fingers crossed, working quite well. Um, so I'm planning to do that for a bit longer before, just to give the field a chance to kind of try and grow a bit, because it's not really growing much over winter, as expected. So it kind of needs a bit of spring to kind of give it a boost. So for now, they're just having some time out here, and so far they seem quite happy, so fingers crossed it lasts. I legit think those birds have sent them a bit balmy, because they're all a little bit, like, wired. And they have been going out here and being pretty good. I don't quite... <laughs> I know what's gone so wrong today, but they're trashing it. Stop it! Like that. Why? You'd think they just want to eat, wouldn't you? But no. I swear it's those birds. Hey, 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 hey! I'm flagging a bit now. Coot's tail's done, so that's good. I'm gonna go and skip him out and then hopefully it should be time to swap Artie around and then keep him out for a bit. Artie can come back in. I just don't know if any tackling is gonna be done again today. I feel, feel really bad, but it's nearly, is it nearly half past four and I'm already, like I say, flagging a bit. I think by the time I've moved everyone around once more, fed everyone and everything, it's gonna be five o'clock. I don't think on a Saturday night I wanna be tack cleaning. I just come on to finish the vlog. Excuse the hat hair, flat manky hair. Um, oh, I feel tired. I feel like it's been a busy day. Um, I always have a, like, with the weekends, I really struggle because I have a long list like we all do when you get to the weekend and there's just endless stuff that you need to get done. And then you never manage it because the list is so long that, you know, you can never get on top of it in one weekend. And I always have mixed feelings over the weekend because part of me is like, I don't want to be doing horses seven days a week, 24 seven, which is what it feels like sometimes, you know, like I'd like some chill time. I'd like to be able to, you know, chill in the house for a bit but there's just always so much to be done isn't there and you just sort of feel like I kind of come away thinking I still haven't managed to do any tech cleaning <laughs> I still didn't put any washing on for the show on Wednesday um I still didn't do any tidying of my house or anything like that and you know when you're like oh and tomorrow I've got a bit of work on so um I'll have less time anyway 
it is what it is but you know like i have this mixed feelings of like half of me feels like i didn't do enough today but then the other half of me is feeling like oh you didn't get to chill or you know i mean who gets to chill in this day and age but you know what i mean like some relaxed time would be quite nice every now and then but um it's all good it's all good and it's so much nicer that it's mild and i get so much more done and it's not been a bad day productivity wise but i wish i'd got the tag done I really wish I'd got that done, but anyway, there may be time for that tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to sweep up, go in, I'm going to have a chill for half an hour, and then I'll come back out, get coop in, and uh, yeah, then that'll be dinner time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I'm not really sure where this vlog was ever going. Um, just a bit of a general equestrian vlog, really, I guess. Just, just a typical Saturday. Lots to do as there is for all of us, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. <laughs>